Hello, in this video we are going to discuss discrete mathematics. So if you are thinking about studying discrete math on your own, or if you're a computer science major and you have to take discrete math, then this video should provide some value to you. So I took discrete math a long time ago because I was a double major in computer science and in mathematics. And it's a hard class. It's a very hard class. It's typically taught by a computer science faculty member and not by the math department. So that makes it kind of different. So math majors typically don't take discrete math. I was super lucky because I had the opportunity to take discrete math alongside with a proof writing class for math majors. And I took them both the same semester. And I think that that really helped me because I took two classes where they taught proof writing. And that just made me a lot better, especially at the beginning. So what can you expect in discrete math? Well, it's a class that covers logic, sets, proof writing, some easy number theory proofs, induction. Uh, you do some graph theory, uh, some recursion stuff with sequences. I mean, all kinds of stuff. It's, it's a variety of topics. And I think that's one reason it's kind of tough. Another reason it's tough is because the students taking the class, they aren't math majors, right? These are students who want to get a computer science degree, and then they have to take this math class. So a lot of times there's, there's some resistance there. But let me say that it is a beautiful subject, despite being hard, and it is worth taking the time to learn it well. So if you're trying to learn discrete math, I think the best way is books. And there's all kinds of books you can get some of them are much more challenging than others. For example, Donald Knuth has a book called Concrete Mathematics, which is very, very challenging, but also a very excellent book. For beginners, there's a really easy book. I think the easiest one and the best one is this one here. I talked about this one a while ago. It's called Discrete Mathematics with Applications, and this is the one by Susanna Epp. I'm not sure if there's a newer edition available. It's got to give it a whiff, but I do think Smell, smells pretty good, but I do think this is probably the easiest book you can buy on discrete math. The big con to this book is the price. It's probably pretty expensive, but you're getting a lot of book and a lot of explanations. You can get cheaper books, like the one by Balakrishnan. That's like a really thin book, and it's a lot more terse and dense, but it covers quite a bit of material as well. In any case, if you're trying to learn discrete math, the most important thing is that you actually sit down and do the math. So my advice to you, if you're trying to learn discrete math, is to just get up every morning a little bit early and do a little bit every day. And yeah, you'll get there eventually. Many computer science majors take a second course in discrete math, but I have no personal experience with that, so I can't comment. Most just take one course, and sometimes they'll take another course that's kind of related, so yeah. Anyways, discrete math is tough. It's an enjoyable course. And hopefully this video has provided some value. Take care.